Ah, beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighbors. Won't you be mine? Could you be mine? Woo! Oh, I'm the neighbor just like you. I don't know the rest of the words, but hey, it's true. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Woo! 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 Hello there, neighbor. Welcome to the Richard Carl Daddy Show. It's just a great day. Beautiful morning. I've been out all day just walking. You know, got up early, had a nice breakfast, and uh, went for a walk. <laughs> Okay, who am I kidding? I'm just getting home from a long night of drinking. So, uh, but it's okay. I still had a walk, and it is morning. So, good morning to all ya. And you know what? It's fan mail day. I love fan mail day. Let's go in, and, uh, let's see what the great fans of the Monster Cox family had to say. Of course, that's, uh, Monster Channel and Cox Cable right there. And, uh, oh, you know what? And my new fans on YouTube, those who can't actually watch it on TV live, Take time to look it up on YouTube. Appreciate it. So, uh, let's go and uh, get some fan mail. Oh, so, here we are. And I'm very excited. Let's uh, let's get some fan mail. And let's start for the first one. First one is from Chuck from Arizona. Hello, Chuck. How are you doing out there? Ah, uh, and your email states, Richard. Why do you hate your mother? Oh well, I don't think I hate my mother. I may have some issues, but. You know what? I'm going to prove to you I don't hate my mother. Let's call her. Hello! Hello, what do you want? Mom? How, how are you today? Woo! We're on the air, dancing some fan mail. Oh, on the air? Am I on TV? Oh my god! I'm not wearing any... But I don't love my, I do not hate my mother. No, no, sorry. Anyway, uh, let's go to the next one. Oh, it's a video mail. Oh, let me just pop that in. Hi, everybody. My name is Shaniqua Faniqua, fan of fan of Toniqua Parker. And I just want to say that I hate you, Richard Crawdaddy. Because, let's just put it this way, you are what is destroying America. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Shaniqua Faniqua Fanta Fanta Faniqua Parker. I am a former crack whore and a storefront preacher. And one day, I was walking along looking for crack rocks pounding the pavement when I found Jesus. Jesus appeared to me and he said, Shaniqua, a penny saved is a penny earned. And the unclean spirit walking through the desert looking to find sunlight. And then when it finds no rest, and in the words of the religion, the could, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. So after finding Jesus, I'm making it my business to take the craw daddies, the craw dickens, and dogs, and the craw dudes off the street. Especially since Richard Craw Daddy was friends with my ex, Lenny. That's right, the one that cheated on me. Leonard cheated on me, and I thought to myself, I never want him to leave me, and I want him to burn for me. So I drugged him, I lit his dick on fire, and after he was covered with third degree burns, I went to prison. And I mean, I haven't repented from that, because one of the Ten Commandments is thou shalt not commit adultery. Well, anyway, Richard Craw Daddy, I will cut you if I meet you, because... I hate you on behalf of Lenny. But in the words of Jesus, a sinner is bound to hell. And in the words of Little Angel the Kid, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. What the with this thing it says his name is Craw Daddy he's mad and rude and he's just so freaking mean my friend you've got to see this vile sex scene puppet name Richard Craw Daddy you've got to
will do. <laughs> so I still can't believe that there is actually somebody out there who doesn't like me. That kind of a... You know, who gets a bad fan mail, really? I hate fan mail. I mean, who really does that? Anyhow, I'm off to uh, an interesting uh, interview. Blood on the dance floor. Woo! And I'm going to their bus. And I, oh, there's their bus. So, uh, let's go check out these guys. Uh, blood on the dance floor. Get ready for Crawl Daddy. Oh, he's on the dance floor. Usually drunk. Woo! Interesting. I'm walking up to the bus. Hello there. Looks like a photo shoot. <laughs> uh, we got an interview today. Hollywood is a place where they'll pay a thousand dollars for a kiss and fifty cents for your College Fest with us. I don't know if you know College, college Fest. Fest. I, it's like the College Street in Kent is a street and this is like their black party for the end of the year. They're like celebrating that school's over. So everybody gets a little wild. People make shirts. It's a good time. We like College we Fest. We have. We like College Fest. We like Bud Light. Kent oh, State. Kayla likes Miller Light. She does um, not like Bud Light. She endorses for Miller Light. Miller Light. But. But. Go Miller. Go Miller. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going with this, with this college fest. Hold up, wait one minute. Who is that guy in the screen? He looks like a puppet, but this ain't Sesame Street. It says, I am done. Since I, since I messed up the question of who wants, what celebrity would you sleep with? Our new question is, Something about hate mail. I gotta check the email. Hate mail? Yeah. Hey, Richard! Richard, no! We Happy just got the podcast! It's not seen! We are the only bitch in the podcast! Our bitch is right here! We got college fast right here! Everybody! Listen, everybody is just having a good time, right? Yeah. Having a good time! Yeah. My phone's cracked, but it's the Let me see. Richard, that's for you, woo! And then we have another ass for you, okay? I have another ass for you, Richard. Shake your ass, Andy, shake it! Can you shake your booty? Okay, so we're inside now the house. We have some other people, can of State College Fest. Can you say hello, Richard Crawl Daddy? Hello! What? Richard Crawl Daddy. Richard Crawl Daddy? Crawl Daddy. Crawl Daddy. Crawl Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, your hair looks great. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Okay, so at College Fest, usually people, you know, get together at house parties and fucking drink. And Ken? It's just nuts. So, dear MGK, everyone loves you in Cleveland. The song has been on. You're on the house at least about six times. So, Machine Gun Kelly, you rocking that shit from Cleveland. We, I will see you at where? Um, work tour. Work tour. Uh, that was a really long. So you know, you like that? A four-year-old told me, Miss Kayla, your eyebrows are getting long. I'm like, I should probably do something about that. We're having fun. We're having fun. You might as well. It's a cloudy, gloomy day. Like YOLO. I know some people are always like. Oh, YOLO, like, yeah, some people overuse YOLO, but you only live once, straight up, so, if you like YOLO or not, the saying, like, you only live once, okay? All right, everyone's in there drinking. <laughs> I have to keep it a little easy, because, you know, I do have to work a little bit I'm thinking, like, <laughs> Panini sees this, but... I need some I was kind of thinking like, oh, I swear I thought it was Thursday, but they know. And I'll just have fun today, because I'm the new girl. Hopefully I'm not closing. Dear God. 
But this conversation is getting a little boring, so I'm going to close it off. <laughs> Peace out. Be safe. Use a condom. That's Kayla Kay from Monster Cox. Get it? Monster Channel and Cox Cable. Monster Cox! So uh, I'm on the bus waiting for uh, blood on the dance floor, and they let me watch porn. It's Katy Perry porn. He used to manage Katy Perry. I wonder if Katy Perry's been on this bus. <laughs> ah, I don't smell anything. So, I'm just waiting. Let's uh, let's go see what Baldini's doing while I'm waiting. Huh, I wonder if it would be weird if I was masturbating when he came in. Well, let's find out. But you, go see what Baldini's doing. Oh, oh, oh. I said go watch Bellini. Uh huh. That's right. Great Baldini. I sit alone in my room, but it's not really mine It belongs to my parents, but never mind I'm always blogging and gaming and tweeting Sometimes I even get into masturbating But that's just me, I'm always in cyberspace I'm the coolest guy on Facebook or MySpace I never leave my house, what's the point in that? Everything that I need comes with a finger tap When it comes to WoW, everyone gets owned I got a million hits on my YouTube account Let's start a flame war about your face it's ugly and you smell. No way, it's easy. My profile pic looks just like Jack Sparrow. Hero. But in real life, I look like Jonah Hill. Easy. Or Seth Rogen before he lost all his weight. Hero. Or John Panette. You'll be here for an hour. As I sit here, I see the strangest things. Charlie the Unicorn and Mittens the Crime Solving Cat. Get out of but the rest guy is dead, oh man, how depressing is that? Two girls and one cup, so sick, think I might throw up. So just show me your genitals. You know you can't text message breakup. You won't believe what you'll see. F the market Montgomery. Easy. I can fluently speak binary language. Zero. Zero one 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 zero zero one. Easy. I write my girl of notes in HTML. Hero. I trade stocks and bonds and play the Comic Con. Pork chop sandwiches. I can't see anything. You try power thirds. Could be a crackhead. What? But that holds to the wrong stuff. I like turtles. All right. I know. No, no. Who's dead? Took a train to sex. We're from the future, Charlie. Oh, I bet. The world is in peril. Winnebago Concepts and Engineering Departments have developed a multifunctional bathroom. Privacy, I don't know what the f I'm reading. So I'm bored, we're waiting for Davi, but uh, the god of sex and bedroom is here. His name's not Richard Crawdaddy. <laughs> What's going on? I know we're kind of waiting here. Oh yeah, you know, just chilling, same old. Yeah, so, so cool, cool. So uh, how many tattoos do you have? It's all one big one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, <laughs> no, it really is. They all look kind of like merged together. Who the fuck's at the door now? <laughs> Mr. Mailman. Woo! Uh, it's a hot girl. You have oh. a women on the bus. Woo! This is my photographer, Michelle. Oh, hello, hello. You can take my picture anytime you want. Hey. Aww, this is Jay, so... uh, well, Excuse me. I thought that was Jay. That was Jay. <laughs> I, Don't I, be I, scared. I, 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 <laughs> the scary version of Jay. Uh, 
Tech what? Oh, quite you little miniature Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's way ouch. cuter though. Yeah, he is way cuter. <laughs> Chris, kind of looks like a... Who was that? What? Who was that? That's Michelle's trick. Nice. It's her dick for the day. <laughs> oh. So, uh, how long have we been on tour so far? It's been about two, three weeks now. We're, yeah, we're in the midpoint. Actually, today is the midpoint. I remember. Tomorrow's 420. Nice. Yes, it is 420. So we're going to smoke it up. Woo! Yeah, 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 the celebration. That's what it is, the national, and I'm sure everybody on Facebook will be like, woo, 420. Yeah, Hitler's birthday or some shit too, right? Yeah, well, everybody has a birthday. <laughs> everybody has a birthday. <laughs> and everybody poops, that's what we've learned. What the fuck? <laughs> so have you ever had, listen, I have a little problem, so I got my first hate mail today. Have you ever had a fan hate, say hate mail? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be hate, I mean a fan, but. <laughs> oh no, haters are the biggest fans. True, because if they take the time to write, that's exactly that means sometimes, they listen. Sometimes I think the haters are like they care about me more than the people that love me do. No, those are the classic, classic blah. I'm drunk. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for waiting so long. Yeah, right. I know. We're gonna be sleeping before Davi comes on. <laughs> I'm already halfway there. Uh, and right. you still gotta perform. I know. I'm already taking a nap. Ooh, who's Ooh. that? Well, let's look. He's in trance with Mike Shea, man. I can't break him away. Do you guys want to knock this, this out? Is, this we is kind of been. <laughs> See, if you have a problem, don't address it to me until you have at least two solutions. Because all I'm going to do is pick one for you. I'm not going to like just tell you how to fix it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So here's the two reasons. Do I write back to that hater, or do I just let it go? Oh, you let it go. Always let it go. It's fine. Never write back, because if you do that, you're just taking the time out of your day just like they did to write you so it doesn't make you any better than them well, that's awesome it makes you a hater too that's true <laughs> advice <laughs> that's right. so uh how did you and davi meet you and davi met uh at a jeffrey star breathe carolina show in orlando about five six years ago so yeah we had a lot in common mainly hair and we were both like hey let's hang out and just hit it off <laughs> and then you say, hey, let's make some music? Yeah, well, he had already had started his band, like, um, I met him, and then a couple of months later is when he started Blood on the Dance Floor, and then, like, about, like, a year or two after that, it was when he asked me to join. Gotcha. Now, uh, Blood on the Dance Floor, does that represent the uh, coming of age for a woman? No, it doesn't. There won't be any Blood on the Dance Floor if you plug it up, ladies. Uh... <laughs> No, it's just uh, dysfunctional dance music, basically, to round it up in the easiest way. And uh, has there been any blood on the dance floor? Kind of blood. <laughs> Hopefully human! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always human, it just depends on where it's coming from. That's true, that's true. <laughs> so what is the weirdest fan request you've ever had? Um, I don't know. I get offered a lot of sex, which is weird. People think I just like want to have sex all the time, which uh -oh. I do. But right, like, for somebody who calls himself the god in the bedroom, <laughs> I never called myself a god. That's everyone else's name for me. That's just everyone I slept with. So just sex is the strange <laughs> thing. No, sex is sex is cool. Just I'm not. I don't know. I don't revolve my entire life around it. Like most people think I do. That thing is so fucking creepy. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to zip up. I was watching porn. Yeah, easy. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Where is your favorite city, actually? <laughs> favorite city? I don't have a favorite city, actually. I love all of them. Cleveland's a really good city. I love playing here. It's always fucking crazy. How many times have you been here? Um, like, the body is exhibit one time when I was here. Oh, well, that's pretty creepy. The whole, you know, dead people in different positions. Yeah, I never really thought about it that way. But I guess there's, like, an artist from, like, the 1700s or something that used to dig up dead bodies. And, like, after they were freshly buried, of course, and then he would actually uh, soak them in alcohol for about a week straight. And he would Such a waste. Yeah, he would go through, <laughs> uh, like, rubbing alcohol. And that oh, okay. Alcohol, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he would soak their bodies, preserve their skin, and he would start injecting, actually, every nerve and, like, every muscle and everything with wax. And he used to make these statues out of these, like, skinned bodies and stuff. I saw that movie. Yeah. It's not he has a movie, museum actually. like He's that in artist. Florida somewhere. I never got to see it, but he has this one piece called Riding Through the Apocalypse, and it's like this, like a horse. It's like a place. I've seen that, movie. yes. We've had that here. Yeah. Yeah. It was amazing. It was on tour. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, they say that the 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 rumor is like the the guy that did it is uh the the person on the horse is supposed to be his wife. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> the time. show just got different. Yeah. <laughs> Though I've uh some I've supplied a couple horses to some rock stars before, so you, we some, Rob Zombie. You supplied some horses. Yeah, you know, there's some freaky men that owe me money, like Rob Zombie. Maybe money for what? For giving them horses. What kind of horses? Well, they were riding it. Woo! <laughs> what? <laughs> well, let me explain the whole sex thing and animals. <laughs> oh, okay. No, 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 no. You know, horses are quite big. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so, uh, what do you do when you're not on the stage? Um... I don't know. Usually I'm out talking to the kids, which is what I was doing outside. But like, I noticed. Yeah. <laughs> which is very cool. A lot of people don't do that. So, I mean, it's good that you are there with your fans. I've noticed that. Yeah. I like to do it, like, all day, like, before the show. That way, after the show, I can go, like, chill because I look like a wet rat. I feel like shit. So, I like to just, like, sign all day and then, you know, do whatever I have to do before the show, get ready, and then, you know. Hang out, and we're going to go check out your show, and I'm, I'm really excited for it. I actually do like your music. Oh, okay. All right. We'll rock on. All right, woo! Let's go, woo! Woo! <laughs> it's me, woo! So, Davi, you missed the interview. I did. I was checked out. That's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Sign, sign away. Back in the shower. Okay. So, what does the what does the chat, things cross her face mean? Uh, two sides for unity. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, uh, I just want to say hello. Good day, I see my listener. So, uh, we've been talking a lot, you missed the whole interview. I know, I was, I was out here and checked it off. But, uh, you, you give me a hug. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, this is a KLK exclusive, okay? Exclusive, because... I'm at work right now. I'm drunk. I'm on the toilet. I'm early. I have like 15 minutes, so I'm hoping no one comes in the bathroom in the 15 minutes so I can like get myself together a bit more. I don't expect. I'm still the new girl, you know? Alright, I gotta go. I think people will like, hear me. So, will you take a bullet for them? Yeah. Will you take a bullet for me? Yeah. All right. Woo. Hello. What band is this? Richard Crane. Who the hell are you? Oh, that was like a couple months ago. That was today. We played with. Gotcha. 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 I'm on. Uh, I do a talk show on Monster Channel. What's Monster Channel? It's a TV internet channel. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So we uh, just interviewed Blood on the Dance Floor. That's cool. And so, how, how long have you been on this tour? About two weeks now. Who are you, where are you from? I'm from Southern California. Welcome to Cleveland! <laughs> what kind of music do you play? We play, uh, we kind of call it punk rock Nightmare Before Christmas. Nice, nice. Yeah. I'll just check it out. You've already been playing then. Yeah, we played first tonight, so he missed us. I missed him. I was sleeping. That's all right. He looked like an old man, so... Uh, yeah, I'm old. And I'm stoned. Hey. Woo! We need your sleep. Yes. So, uh, it's been a nice video. Talk to you soon. Oh, I love you. Woo! Thank you so much. Yes. I've been getting a lot of this. Uh, <laughs> it's been good. Woo! I'm just going to sit here and stare. So, who do you sell out for? Nice, nice. How long you been doing that? Huh? How long you been doing that? Um, I worked with them for about January, so about like four months. And how much for a night with you? Uh, two bucks, I think. Oh, well, I got about five bucks, so. <laughs> uh, that might work. Woo!
All right, uh, damn, that was fucking awesome. Just fucking awesome. Who would have known that some kids like that would be real rock stars? And I've got my problem solved about the uh, bad fan, the hated fan. I can't believe you sent me hate mail. Who the fuck are you? Here's my buddy. Woo! Totally. That is awesome. You're my you're my new friend. I need I need one dollar to get home. Uh, I'm a rock star and we don't have any money. You starving artists? I, I don't have any money. You starving artists? Say what? Starving artists? Yes, I am. Good luck. Go, man. I'm going home. I gotta go drink. That was my little bum friend. That's Cleveland's finest. I think that was George Clinton. The Grandmaster of Funk. Holy shit. Oh, what's happened to him? And I didn't get any drugs from him. Damn. Well, uh, hey, anyway, that's the show. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have, of course. It's been another successful Crow Daddy show. And remember, when they ask who's your daddy, tell them Crow Daddy. Woo! I'm going to get wasted tonight. <laughs> well, I think I am wasted. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, jeez, of course. Oh, we still on? Oh, go home. Really, go, go home. I'm not blood on the dance floor. <laughs>